What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Looking on My Big Tarot here, where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I'm your spirit guide host, Miss DC. And today, y'all, we are back with another general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Please understand this will not apply to every single Capricorn, as every single Capricorn is not going through the same scenario. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Capricorn energy, you're more than welcome to join and tune in. But please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you, so I will be talking to you guys on my Ink Romancy Tarot deck. Okay, without further ado, Capricorn, I'm talking to you. All of my information will be in the description box below. Okay. All pan, Capricorn, I'm getting somebody is bothered. A masculine energy is bothered, and it's probably you. I feel like you're in a really grumpy energy, possibly. Let's just see. Yeah, I feel like you have to make a decision about something, and maybe it's making you upset, or maybe it's making you angry. I feel like this might this message might be more for the, the men, but it can be the masculine women because I feel like Capricorns are feminine yet very dominant I don't really want to say masculine but I will say a little dominant but I feel like you all have to make a decision and it might be making you feel just like dead something just makes you feel dead but it's a decision that you have to make and it's like damn if I do damn if I don't Maybe somebody is thinking to cut off their hair. I feel like somebody is in a rush to cut their hair. Or maybe somebody somebody did something and accidentally cut their hair. I feel like you cut your hair too much. Maybe you were really excited about, I feel like maybe this is to, this, this message is to the feminines. I feel like maybe you wanted to, you wanted to do something different with your hair. I'm getting hair. You wanted to do something different with your hair and maybe you cut too much off. You were so excited. It's like, or maybe you were thinking to, maybe somebody wanted to cut your hair. Somebody was excited to cut your hair for you. I feel like you were trying to make the decision on whether or not to get your hair cut. And you were trying to figure out, am I going to let it grow or am I just going to cut it? And then somebody happily came in and was like, I'll cut it for you. And I feel like maybe they cut off too much or you found somebody to cut it off. See, this was the card at the bottom in reverse that I said somebody was grumpy. So this really needed to come out, but it came out in the upright. I, I just get hair. I don't know why I'm getting hair. I'm getting hair. <laughs> Like, I feel like you all are in a boss energy and I feel like maybe you were really excited to go get your hair cut or do something different with your hair that involves scissors. I feel like you did this because maybe you were going through something at home or maybe you wanted to change. I feel like maybe you have a family and some kids and something is not going right within the family or with the kids. I feel like the kids are upside down. It may be a family of like four where the mother is probably taking care of the, the kids and the father maybe isn't or a situation where um, there's a lot of masks and both of you, it's like both of y'all get the money, but somehow there's some disconnect between you and the kids. Okay, so I get what it is, is that you, maybe you and your partner, for whoever this may be, you and your partner are trying to decide to do something. And I guess maybe the kids are not involved. So it could be any type of scenario. It don't have to be cutting hair, but it could just be like a decision that you, the feminine and the, it's like a, it's like a very dominant feminine woman or a very in a very masculine man, but they're in a relationship where I guess they might be distant from their kids. Yeah, and they're having a hard time breaking that kind of routine with each other because Yeah, I feel like maybe the masculine energy feels stuck. So Capricorn, you might be dealing with a fire sign you could be dealing with you know i pick up heavy emphasis um capricorn on 
Maybe it's an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. I get heavy sword energy here, heavy thinking, and wand. So it might be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, or Aries. Somebody that you're dealing with, I feel like you two work, you all complement each other just in a very odd or unique way. But I feel like for whatever reason, something is going on with the family. Like, I feel like, I feel like the kids are watching. The kids know what the fuck is going on. If you don't, you better. 